Hello, let's make a painting. And what are we gonna do today? Well, water. Everything is already wet. I don't know why I'm putting water there. But uh, let's put some. <laughs> let's just let's just hit the paper with this. Oh, that's a cloud. That that splash is a cloud. All right, uh, purple dots. <coughs> Excuse me, and blue dots, and blue dots again, and water, and purple dots, and blue dots, and water, and water, and water, and for the ground, I'm just gonna put some paint over there. And moving it left and right, kind of dry ish, so I can have this flickering effect on the dry paper. Obviously, all the perspective lines are coming from right to left. The cloud in the middle, it's very stormy cloud. I think I'm gonna keep it. All right. Some yellow for the sky behind the cloud. Mm, I don't think it's middle of the day. It's more like a before sunset. But also in the same time is very dark because of the thunder clouds that is coming from right side. Some reflection, of course, in the mid ground and the foreground. Mm. I still want to keep that flickering effect here and there. Is a C? No, it's not. It's just ground. Um, multiple brush. Let's see what we're going to do. Kind of blend a little bit. I'm going to pull up some of the cloud. I want to kind of almost blend it with the ground, but not that much. All right. So uh, time for some black wash. Let's see. So, since it's so dark, I think I'm going to put uh, only silhouettes of some of the plants around. Maybe that's the perspective. Yeah, that's going to be the perspective lines. And I'm going to overlap that with the midground. And by doing that, that's going to emphasize a little bit more on how the weather is moving, how deep is this landscape? A little bit on the back over there. Maybe I should make the mid-ground a little bit longer. Let's see. Mm, sky? Yeah, I can, I can do the sky a little bit better. But I don't want to mess it up too much there. I want to keep that freedom over there. All right. Take the palette knife and start working with the plants. We put the base for it and now I'm going to just uh, expand on the top of that with the palette knife and keep going from right to left. A couple dark spots on the foreground. A little bit more. But I think I'm going to keep the silhouettes because I want to emphasize more on the clouds and stormy clouds that is coming. Let's go with the clear brush. Mm, these clouds have uh, light going through them in the middle. So it's, of course, it's still not the, the sunset. So we still have some light. So that's what I'm going to do. I remove some of the paint in the middle and I'll keep following that path. Uh, going on the left side. It's almost like the, the sun is showing a path to the clouds and is reflecting on the ground and forming that path coming from the horizon and going on the mid ground. This is very abstract when I look at it now. I think I'm gonna keep it that way. Maybe put in some tall grass around uh, we'll see about that. Maybe it's going to be just a little bit more on the abstract side. Now we'll just keep removing some of the paint.
I believe I shared that. Uh, I, I play lately. I play a game that uh, in the virtual reality, uh, and you can look around, and you are in like a ship, starship, and moving around, and you can explore. Don't remember the name of the game. But anyway, you explore different planets. You go from planet to planet. It's, it's great because I love, I love exploration. I love to explore. Uh, but this is look like a landscape from there. And, and by the way, it's a great inspiration for me because it's you can see so many different things. Even if it's a, even if it's VR, it's still like very interesting. And and that's what these paintings give me uh, a lot of it. And by the way, I'm putting black, uh, white gouache, white gouache. Just uh, uh, just snap it in the in the painting. I don't use white gouache that often actually. But this one, I'm going to put very thick layer. The thing with the white gouache is if it's the painting is very wet, uh, it's going to blend and it's going to become smudgy. Uh, it needs to be almost dry in order to stay like this. And I put very thick layer. And as you can see, I use the, the, the regular, the, actually the real uh, palette knife. Now, because I have so much reflection on the ground uh, with this white gouache, I, I think it's fair to do uh, some light spots in the in the sky and just remove some of it and making some fluffy clouds. And I try to move my hand randomly. I, I don't try to be way too specific because clouds are, you know, one of the... It's the highest form of abstraction anyway. So the last thing you want to do with clouds is following some kind of pattern. There you go. Just remove twisting, turning. Very dreamy. This almost felt like making a <laughs> mountains in the background, but I think it's, I'm going to keep it as a cloud. And there we go. Watercolor, abstract, landscape.